Hi, Aries. Welcome to your January 2024 overview forecast. So let's look at what is going on this month for you. So on January 11th, there will be a new moon happening for you in your area that has to deal with your career and your social standing, right? How other people view you and how you view yourself, the titles that we all have, like if you're aunt, if you're a mom, all those things, those are that's that area. There will be a new moon there and how you're looking at yourself and how you want other people to look at you. There has been a very big shift with Aries for from 2008 since Pluto was moving through that area of your um of your chart and it just seems like this month is going to be the month where you're really going to look at a lot of fine print details with things that you were kind of being careless about before. So the card that I got for you this month is the full in reverse. Um, a lot of you may be come like anticipating something that was supposed to happen, but then you realize that maybe you had to go back and refine something. So you can't really be as free as you want to be, be as carefree and, you know, just gone with the wind as you want to be. This is more like you want to have this energy. You want to be, um, I would say more, more free. That's really the word, more free. You want to have more freedom, but there's a lot of things that are kind of holding you back and stopping you. One of the things that I'm seeing that is really happening for you is that you are really building a lot of your um, self-esteem um, and you're also realizing that um, you need to either earn more money, uh, change the way you make, are uh, you earning money? Um, or look at how you're spending money. Maybe there's um, some some money issues that is going on where you're having to look at your finances and be very, very like realistic about them. Like looking at the reality of what it is you're doing with your money and your body. Like, is it is it really helping you this month? This is what I'm really seeing with all of that. There's going to be a full moon happening for you in your fifth house. So all the things that you enjoy, um, the love affairs that you have, the relationships with kids, all of that is going to be highlighted around the 25th because this is the area that will catch a lot of your focus around that time. So if you have a skill, if you have a talent, but you're not honing it in, this is going to be where you're also looking at that. Some of you guys are also dealing with some friction energy at work, which is what I'm seeing either with your routines, your habits, your eating habits. Um, there may be there may be a need for change in that area for you. You may find that you're also working around people, coworkers, or things like that. They may have this kind of energy that's a little bit wild or unpredictable, and or either it's you that's wild and unpredictable at work. Usually, when there's that kind of tension, either it's one or two things. Either you need to change the way you're responding to people, or either you need to find your way to exit that. So for some of you Aries that are interested in looking for new work this month, this is a great time for you to start that process, especially once that new moon kicks in on the 11th and then that full moon comes in on the 25th. So if you guys have a skill or a talent, try to put that into momentum, push it out there. Um, You will, you will get some type of um, feed, like feedback about what you're doing, okay? Because a lot of you are dealing with a healing phase right now from relationships with other people one-on-one, -on -one, and it may be hindering you from even seeing the bright side of some things, and the fool coming in in reverse is really showing me that a lot of you Aries, you, some of you may be in a relationship dynamic with another person that you're not really that content or happy with, but you might have to stay in the relationship because of the money, because of the family because of the routine or because of the responsibilities that may you two may share um and and that's all great right that's wonderful when you are trying to be responsible um and you're trying to uh, do everything in a way that really helps and supports everyone in your family not just you but there is going to be a really big need to this month for you to really focus and align yourself on the things that you really need to do um, I wouldn't really focus so much on the partner because of the South Node being in Libra there. You kind of need to kind of look at your partnerships as kind of like kind of a thing that's mirroring something about what you need to change about you. Do not project that onto the partner. If you see something happening this month, try your hardest if you can. I'm going to really stress this to not try to not cause altercations. I mean, things happen. Try to not fight because it's not going to really help you in the dynamic. It's going to actually make you feel like you're 
you're stuck and you're not free. Just focus on yourself, focusing on trying to make your money, trying to rebuild your body. You have a lot of energy in um, an area that has to do with the behind the scenes, right? On um, your dream world, when you're alone and when you're by yourself, a lot of you may feel that you may need that time as an Aries right now this month um, to kind of think more and ponder more and reassess things. Um, looking at the hidden things that get in your way. So like addictions, drugs, alcohol, uh, sex addiction, anything that you can be addicted to is something that you may find that you also might try to cling to to help you deal with this energy. Um, I would stress to try not to do that if you can, um, because of the way that the energies are aligned this year, it can be really difficult for you if you don't try to put in some effort to change certain situations that you're not comfortable with, okay? Do not try to control another person talk to another person and let them know that they're doing something wrong to you. Because if you do, it will, it may backfire on you and that person may rebuttal you and tell you things that you're doing wrong too. So if you're ready to really hear the truth about that, go ahead, talk, have a conversation um, with a healthy adult. If you notice that the person is not going to be that way with you, I strongly, strongly would tell you not to do that. Okay. So because we're pushing in the momentum this year, um, there's a lot of healing going on for you right now. Um, there may be a lot of you feeling like an outcast, right? A lot of like, I don't have like a tribe, I don't have people around me and I kind of have to do everything on my own. Um, and what? And so what? You're an Aries. You're the, the first raw energy that creates everything else that comes. You're the first one. So if you feel that way, it may mean that you don't have a passion. You don't have something to direct your energy towards that you may need um, and not focus so much, again, on relationships with other people, right? Kind of look at more at yourself and what you need to work on, how um, the money you need to earn, the job you need to do, how to re, um, how to stabilize your routines or how to get like, how to have a habit in your day or have, have a routine in your day that can help you to kind of get to the place that you really want to go this year. Okay. That's really the focus that I'm seeing for this month for you guys, Aries. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.